Hi. Hey. You must be Lauren. I am. And Sam. Yeah. Sam, I'm Jack Berg. I'm the Desperate Chef. Hey, good nice to see to meet you. you. It's nice to meet y'all too. I was wondering if I could come in, raid your kitchen, and make you something delicious out of whatever you happen to have in there. Sounds risky. Come on in. <laughs> All right, show me the way. So Lauren, Sam, you've let a stranger into your house to presumably cook for you. How do y'all feel about that? Excited. Nervous. Okay, great. Well, I'd love to get to know you a little bit. Tell me a little bit about yourselves. Lauren, what do you do? Um, I own Charleston Dog Walking Company. Okay. So I walk and also manage the business. Sam? I'm an attorney at Clawson and Stobbs Law Firm and a professional mariner. Oh, wow. Yeah. No responsibility there. <laughs> no. It's, yeah. uh, neither of those jobs are high stress. Um, and y'all have, have a newborn. That's right. Yeah. So do you get to spend a lot of time in your kitchen cooking? We do, yeah. 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 She, she's finally at the age where it's fun. We put her little chair up here and she watches us. And so we have okay. a good time. She's with her grandparents today. So. Okay. What's her name? Bitsy. Yeah. Bitsy. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. a great name. So I think the next thing we need to do is really look and see what you have in your, right. in your fridge and your cabinets. All right, let's do it. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, butter. Every kitchen needs butter. We got that. So we'll definitely use that for something. These caught my eye immediately, these beautiful raspberries you have here. We'll use those. The glorious, wonderful egg. You guys have plenty in here. We're going to definitely make something delicious. Let's see here. Peanut butter horseradish comes in handy. You guys seem to be big horseradish fans. Yeah. All right, so I see a few things in here. There's some delicious greens down here. Baby spinach, beautiful. Hard salami, my favorite. Y'all are well stocked, I would say. Let's look in the let's look in the freezer and see what we have in here. Oh yes. This <laughs> most important. There's just not quite enough in there for me from last night. There. All right, gang, so I've raided your, your cabinets and your refrigerator. I found a few things. We're gonna slice this ciabatta that I found, um, do a nice slice of Granny Smith on top of that with some wilted spinach. Then I'm gonna saute this salami with this red onion, put it on top of the spinach, and then do a nice over easy fried egg on top of the whole thing. And then this beautiful stuff that I found, this pepper jelly from Monk's Corner, I'm gonna use some <laughs> of the liquid and just garnish it. Because on the side of that plate, we're gonna have some berries with some cheese on the side. Sounds great. It's pretty impressive, Jack. All right. So I really love Eggs Benedict, and some of these ingredients I found here, I feel like I can put together kind of a, an unorthodox version of that dish. These onions and salami are gonna cook and be really nice and soft, along with that spinach. And then you're gonna have that little crunch with the apple. I really like adding apple to a lot of the things that I cook. I think that it really gives a nice sweet and, and textural counterpoint to some of the softer elements of the dish. And then, you know, we don't have an English muffin here, so we found this ciabatta bread, which is going to act as our English muffin. And, and we're not poaching the eggs either, we're going to just fry them sunny side up. Presentation is a, is a big deal to me, I like for things to look really nice. Alright gang, who's ready to eat? you have a garden? We do yeah. have a garden out yeah. back. Yeah, what are you growing this year? Well, <laughs> we're growing a, a number of mm, that's delicious. vegetables and fruits. The dogs got into it last week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they ate the strawberries, so. Oh, no. <laughs> they ate the strawberries and they broke the stalks on my tomatoes, but I think we still got a number of peppers, uh, several different types of melons, and we're doing corn this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Non-GMO corn, I would assume. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe next time when I come back, I can grab some stuff out of your garden. Yeah, and we can we can do that. If the, if the girls didn't eat it all, but yes, yeah, if the girls didn't we'll eat it try. all. We'll try. Three dogs and a six-month-old. Yeah, imagine <laughs> you, have your, you have your hands full. All girls too, so. I like it. Actually, I like I'm the pepper jelly, pepper jelly with it. Want more? Yeah. I knew I would want more. Uh. <laughs> Again, thanks y'all for having me. Jack is delicious. You did a fantastic job.